but let the people know listening around the world why they should be familiar with you, and then we'll get into actually where you've been for the last couple of years, because I know a lot of people are wondering, you know, they want to know what's been going on, new projects dropping. And I think there's a record that they should be familiar with, they might know you from. Okay. I mean, well, basically, you know, a lot of people, you know, know me from the Roots Camp, you know what I'm saying? Uh, record named Clones, I was on the album Little Girl Half Life. Clones was your first single from that record, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. And uh, became like a phenomenal classic hip hop record where, every, you know, everyone still loves it today. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's been a blessing. And you're still out there performing with the legendary Roots crew when they go out the road here and there, right? Sometimes, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next question is, where you been, bro? Well, for a while, you know, for, I had fell back from music for a minute and uh, started learning more about the game because when I first came out, you know, I was young, really, you know, younger than what I am now, so it was like, you know, I had to learn more about what was going on behind the scenes. So, you know, I just fell back for a minute and uh, just got my game tight, you know what I'm saying? I got my own record label, TUB Records, you know what I'm saying? Tally Up Boys. And okay. uh, now I got my solo project coming out. It's called The Powers in the Tongue. That's the name of the album. First single is called Black Season, which will be out November 24th, Thanksgiving. And um, here I am. <laughs> you know now, let's let's go back in time. How did you link up with The Roots? How did that all come about? Uh, actually, I used to I used to do uh, like a lot of, at, at that time in the 90s, you know what I'm saying, in the 90s, it was only a certain amount of artists in Philly that was known, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was me, Bahamadia, Black Thought, Dice Raw, and a few others, Malik B, you know what I'm saying? And um, we pretty much had a buzz going on around the city. And uh, there was a guy named Richard Nichols who was kind of like doing management work for me. And uh, me and Dice Raw had went out in California to work with this producer that had us under his wing. And when we came back, uh, the guy with Nichols had took the roots over to Austria and they went over there and started selling some music doing shows. And when we came back from Cali, they had a deal. So it's like, you know, I've been down with the roots, you know what I'm saying, from day one. You know what I mean? Before it even really was known to the public like that. So it wasn't just like some shit I stumbled across. It's like we kind of built this thing right. from the ground up as far as trying to get on and, and you know, keep real hip hop alive and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So. And I gotta shout out Dice Raw because that new single, 1995, that's one, really one of the hottest records yeah. out. That thing is crazy. 100 is one of my favorites. Y'all got that? That's a hot record too. Yeah, yeah. hot record. Excuse <laughs> You definitely yeah. 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 on it. Oh, that's classic. Yeah. Buy yeah. 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 ESC. Yeah. Yeah. I, had to, I, had to, I had to put that out there. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So. Like I said, the relationship is still good with the roots. You're still in the studio recording. You're working on this new album. Mm -hmm. Okay. My first solo album ever. First solo album. But yeah. I know you said you took time off to study the game and do that, but it's a long time, bro. Yeah, it's been a long time. But see, it's like with this game, it doesn't happen overnight. You know what I'm saying? Well, really, no successful career or business is going to happen overnight. You have to put in work, you know what I'm saying? Just right. like one day I was watching on YouTube on how Kanye West and Rick Ross was explaining their situation. They're like, yo, man, it's just been, they've been building their shit up since for like 16, 20 years. You know what I'm saying? So it's like longevity is very important. And, and then you have to create some sort of direction to where you're going with this. Or other than that, it ain't going to make any sense. You're just going to come and go. So I'm so a classic MC, so I didn't come and go yet. The new <laughs> single is dropping... You November, said, November 24, 24. 24. How do you feel about the state of hip hop right now and you coming in like, you know, going hard now with your movement? Um, I feel like the state of hip hop right now is pretty good. You know, it, I mean, some people think it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? For me, I look at it as a, a, a wider scale to get heard. You have to create your own lane. And I think now, you know, being as though we have the internet to our to our fingertips like this now, it's like, you know, it, you can kind of link directly to the fans. So I'm, I'm good with it. I like it. You know what I'm saying? The old Twitter, the old Facebook thing. 
You know, I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, <laughs> you know I was going to grind you up about this. Yeah, you're breaking numbers. my ball yeah. today, y'all, about my Twitter shit. That, yeah. it, 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 it ain't up yet. I only got 228 followers. But you right. said you just joined Twitter. You're just, you yeah, know, got on there. Um, and, and the whole promo marketing with your movement is going to change. It's going to step up. You said you've got oh, yeah. a lot of things in the works, some videos coming out. Oh, yeah. Um, Actually, um, my, the video was done for Black Caesar. You'll see that next month as well. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I've got my man Bloodsport in there. Now, that was shot in Philadelphia? Uh, yeah. Actually, we shot uh, Seventh and Cowell Hill. Okay. We shot it inside the building right there that we work out of, the studio. And um, uh, my man Mike Pender directed, uh, di- uh, excuse me, directed the video. He's a movie director. Uh, him and uh, a guy named Nakia Dillard was very interested in my music and my project, so they wanted to get down with it. And, we brought it to life, you know what I'm saying? I did the treatment with, with my man Mike Fender. We put it together, and it's pretty pro, man. We got movie cameras we shot it with. It was now, let's, let's talk about, about the shit. single. What is the single about? Well, the single is just like some raw hip-hop shit, you know what I'm saying? It's called Black Caesar, and that's my AKA. So it's like if you ever seen a movie Black Caesar, which is uh, the movie that Fred Williamson is in, uh, he... um. It's kind of like, you know, in Black Caesar, he, he's like a, a guy that, you know, that did a lot of things and that was on top. And a lot of people try to bring him down. So he had to bounce back. So it's like, you know, this is Black Caesar. This is the return of me right now. You know what I'm saying? Because with a title like that, I know it's definitely on some boom bap shit. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's, it's real raw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's some raw shit. So I, I really, what I did was when I did, when, when, when I focused on this album, when I focused on this single, I wanted to make sure that I was going to bring something that can, you know, link into the people that already know me and not just try to come out on some pop bullshit. I'm not saying like pop is wrong, you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, I wanted to show people exactly where I'm at with it and that I still got it. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's very important. So uh, me and my man, Obvious Ben, produced the track and uh, everybody pretty much like it right now. So. I'm just, you know, I'm looking forward to a new beginning. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's Benja Styles, DJ No Frills, Official Street Radio, UERadioLive.com. We got Mars Paul up in the building. Yeah. Now, you probably know him from the Roots record, Clones. I think, Leek, do we got that queued up? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We definitely got it. We definitely got it. Get that ready to refresh people's memories, how crazy this record is. Oh, yeah. Is. Definitely. <laughs> definitely going to be crazy. I tune in. I definitely tune in. <laughs> UE Radio Live. OfficialStreetRadio.com, Vendor Styles, DJ No Frills, Mars Co-op. Let's go. Tally up, boys.